Hi hey y'all, welcome back to Octave Blessings with myself. I want us to look at this transfer function here. Um, let's find the roots, the poles, and the process gain. So there are two options that we can tackle this example. I'm going to try the first example. Let me say using the command windows option one, and we can call this example six. I'm going to say example 6a, because there's going to be another example, which is the same problem, just a different um, way of handling it. So the first thing we're going to handle it, we are going to um, incorporate the num, which is the numerator, and the dan, which is the denominator, and then find the, um, the zeros, poles, and the process gain. So I'm going to first start and load my code control signal, so pkg load signal. Perfect. Great. No spelling error. Um, Octave is sensitive, y'all. So num. So the first part, which is my numerator, I'm going to put it in the square brackets for negative two. Perfect. So Octave is sensitive, y'all. So any m has to be in the correct spelling. Also, um, incorporating the square brackets, my numerator, it's a negative two and negative four, as you can see from the equation. I'm not going to use, if I incorporate the semicolons, it won't show this equation, but I want it to appear perfect. And then the DEN, which is our denominator, it is 2, 6, and 4. Everything is positive, perfect. Now, let's find the zeros, poles, and the post scale. So what, this is how you're going to do. You're going to square bracket, Z for your zeros, P for your poles, and K for your process gain. Close your bra the square brackets equals to T, F, which is the transfer function, to ZP, and your M, D, E, N. Notice the wording, the codings, exactly. Um, if you were to show you something here, you might not get the answer. And oh, honestly, the spacing here doesn't really, really matter. It won't affect your answer, whether you keep it or not. You should obtain that. Octave is not really sensitive to space, only sensitive to casing and the spin. So perfect. Let's find our answer. There you go. So this is our zero and poles and k. And if you wanted to do this manually, all you had to solve for the zeros, the numerator, equate the equation to zero and solve for s. And the, um, the denominator, you, all you had to do was find your units. Um, there we go. That's your process gain to negative two. Now, what if you want to do it the other way around? So we just incorporated the NEM and DEN. There's also another way that you can um, find this, which is very interesting. Um, option two. Option two. Um, let's call this example 6B. In this case now, what we are going to do is we are going to incorporate the transfer function. Um, so first I'm going to say PKG load signal. This step is very um, crucial, y'all. Um, and this either signal or control, and they, are, they have different um, roles that they play on Octave. Um, so PKG load signal. No spelling error, perfect. It's very important to make sure when you're working on your command readers that everything has no spelling error or else you have to start over. Um, so PKG load signal. I'm going to call this one C1 equals to TF. No spelling error. Circle bracket, square bracket, notice, negative four, negative two, spacing, you can either use commas or spacings. Um, close brackets, comma, notice that, a square bracket. Two, six, four, notice, square bracket, close. Check if there's no spelling error. Perfect, yay. So there's your function. Basically, this is our um, the function that you can see from the main equation, right? Yes. And now what we want to do is we want to um, solve this equation by finding its same way we did above we want to find the zeros the poles and the k so what you're going to do is you're just going to say set p k t f t 
choose a P. Um, so in this case, we've already defined um, our transfer function. So we have to do just say C1, which is our transfer function. And that should give you the same answer as above. Check if there's no spinning error, guys, because Octave is sensitive, y'all. Perfect. So there's your zero, there's your pulse, and there is your K. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Alternatively, you could have used the editor section. And the editor section, all you have to do is basically what I just did that side. It's the same thing here. You just have to run the file and your answers will come. If that confuses you, I'll just clear my screen and run the file. Perfect. And there you go. This is the first option, the first part. And this is the second option, the second part. So yes, guys, um, you have two ways to find it. There might be more, but these are the two ways that I am uh, knowledge of. 